flying from Cyprus in a Greek Air Force plane, the Ioka leader, Colonel George Grivas, now a general, I believe, got a big welcome in Athens. Members of the Greek government and leaders of the church were there to head the reception for the man who'd been in hiding for over four years with a price on his head. He was still carrying his gun and cartridge belt, and he'd plenty to say, of course. It's difficult for us to see him as a hero, but he is to the Greeks. And the primate of Greece, Archbishop Theoctetos, had a laurel wreath all ready for him. As we watch Grivas paying formal tribute at the Athens War Memorial, our thoughts go to those who lie dead in Cyprus. Grivas was acclaimed by the Greek army, in which he was commissioned 40 years ago, and was later to be decorated by King Paul. But first, he and his wife were received by the Prime Minister, Mr. Karamanlis. What a homecoming for the Ioka chief. 